Twas the shift before Christmas, and all through the base, the crew were all ready, poised just in case. Flight helmets were hung by the back door with care, ready in case they were called to the air. Support teams were working hard at their desks, helping raise funds and planning events. And volunteers with their buckets, and I with my tin, spoke of past AAA lottery wins. When there in the crew room there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my chair to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, threw back the blinds and had sight of the dash. The sound of the bell in the calm of the shift foreshadowed the noise as they decided to lift. When what to my wondering eyes should I see but two pilots, a doctor and a fine CCP. With a captain and co-pilot so calm and steady, I knew in a moment they'd soon be flight ready. The paramedic listened, the need for hems was proclaimed. They wrote notes on their knee pad, then rose and exclaimed. Now defib, now bougie, now red bag and blue. Don PPE, Envis goggles and pack away airway tubes. To the helipad now, and in our aircraft we climb. Thanks to our H145, we'll be there in no time. As twin engines sound to lift the crew high, it's a sight to behold as they mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew, with kit bags and care and capability too. And with them gone, I thought of who needing their healing, the sadness and fear that they must be feeling. As I let out a sigh and was turning around, the aftercare team strode in with a bound. Reaching out, connecting and making time to assist, they help families and patients with details they've missed. A service so unexpected but so vital too, all nurses and proud to do what they do. I turn to our fundraisers, for they are the ones, explaining we receive no direct government funds. Their stewardship and efforts keep the blades turning around. It's not easy raising money when the world's in lockdown. I think next of our band of trusted volunteers, donating their time and all in good cheer. A team with who we could not manage without, spending weekends and evenings out and about. As I look at our crew who drop down from the heavens, I remember we respond 24-7. Our service all thanks to kind supporter gifts, ensuring we are covered for all of our shifts. Later, back in the crew room, the duty doctor mused. Our life-saving team include those on the ground too. And he sat down to rest with a fresh cup of tea. Then the red phone rang loudly and they jumped to their feet. They dashed to the aircraft, the cold air made them whistle. And away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard them exclaim as they banked out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.